Hello, chicken wings. You know what I have a great fondness for? Portmanteaus. Yes. If you're not familiar with what a portmanteau is, it's when you have one word and another word that kind of have a little bit of the same phonics in them, so you mash them together and create a brand new word that just rolls off the tongue to describe something that both of those words describe on their own. So over the years, I've been writing down my own portmanteaus that I come up with, and today I think we're going to just look at that list and go over some of the best ones that I've created. When I say created, anything that you hear here, here, here. The first time I ever heard this portmanteau was when it came on my head, but there is this greater hive mind of like billions of people who speak English, so it's very likely that some of these have been coined by other people as well and exist on the internet, so if I say one and you're already familiar with it from some pop culture source I'm not familiar with, I'm not stealing it. Don't cancel me. It's just the coincidence of having so many people on this planet, okay? Thanks. Your final warning going into this video, if you're only here for my photography content, I'm gonna front load the two that are photography related right at the beginning, so you can watch that and then shut the video down if you can't stand other kind of content, and then go off and have time to do something like wash your hands before dinner, I don't care. Okay, portmanteau number one. So you know what term in photography I really don't like? Shutterbug. I don't know, it, it bugs me. It's like, it's too cute of a term to calling people like, I'm a shutter, I'm a little butterfly bug, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, um, I was thinking about this and doing some other entomology with bug names and photography words and trying to make a brand new term for shutterbug. And I came up with cockroach and click. Boom! Click roach! <clears throat> a beautiful portmanteau, and from now on, it's how I want to be described as a photographer. You know, in, this, in these videos when I'm like, hey, if you want to support me and buy some of my fine art photo prints, go to this long URL, the stupid long Polish name into it, and buy one. Now, I'm not dumb. I know you don't remember how to spell that because it's, it's like, it's too long. So, what I did, I bought clickroach.com and it will take you to my shop. So anytime now you want to buy one of my weird fine art prints, just go to Croach.com. Second one related to photography I want to cover, we're going to take the word grifter and the word photographer and match them together and then we get photographer. You know what a photographer is? It's these people who like they just started taking pictures and they're like, ah, I want to make my own wedding business, but they have no portfolio. So they just go online and search like wedding photos and find these really awesome, good photos from established photographers and just go throw them into their stupid WordPress site to make it look like they shot them. And they're like, look at me. I'm a great wedding photographer. Here's my portfolio. Except the portfolio is a portfolio of lies. They're grifting you because that's not the quality you get when you hire these thieves. Um. That's, that's the photographer there. I'm sure there are plenty of other ways photographers can grift people that this word would apply to. All right, there, let's, let's, um, you, you photography people can buzz off now if you're sick of words that don't relate to your hobby. <sighs> okay, so looking at the list of words I have left to go over, there's about 18 more of them. And if I rant on each one, that's like a, that's gonna be like a 20 minute video. That's too long. So we're just gonna do half of this list now and then maybe half the other half of the list further down the road if this one really mm, connects a good core with people. So I'm gonna shuffle my word list that I have left and we're just gonna go right from the top, one through nine. So the next portmanteau is gonna take the term tater tot hot dish, which in Minnesota people make tater tot hot dish. Hot dish is slang for casserole. But the thing is, they're really wasting a lot of phonics when they say this, and we can just simply have Tater tot dish, or even smaller with top dish. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's all I really got for that. That, oh crap, I'm out of water. Get it back. Sweet, sweet hydration. Okay, where are we? Next, the next portmanteau. Now this one, this one gets kind of meta. Let's take the word portmanteau and the word yurt and mash them together and have a yurt mantau. So this is like, so I'm not into yurting, but I imagine just like photography, 
There's like yurt forums where, and yurt Facebook groups where people get together and talk about yurts and then like someone posts a picture of their yurt and then all these other salty old guys like, that's the stupidest yurt! And they yell at each other and it's just toxic and there's no way you should be in these groups it's trading people in your own hobby. But imagine in those hobbies there's a lot of yurt related terms and I don't know any of those terms because I'm not into yurts. But if one of those terms happens to form into another portmanteau with something else, Ta-da! Yurt Manto! The jazz hands! Okay. Portmanto number whatever we're on. Hanukkah. Sauna. Half the world has grown because I said that the wrong way. Combined together to make Sonica! It's a holiday for like your Finnish and Jewish friends to get together and celebrate Hanukkah. In a sauna, 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 however, however the hell they say it, okay? That's Sonica. Let's celebrate it this year, shall we? More portmanteaus come out at ya. Let's say you get a tattoo of a nun's habit. You mash them together, and it's a habit tattoo. Ha <laughs> ha! Oof, I love this stuff. Sure, you could possibly also have some other meaning, like you have a habit of getting tattoos, but I'm taking the nun angle on this one, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Rapid fire, next portmanteau coming up. You have yourself some coffee, and you have an estimated time of arrival of when that coffee is gonna appear, and what do we get? You guessed it! BAM! Coffee TA! It's the time when you expect to get your coffee. Great word. This is a fun video, isn't it? Next, next up, next up, big, big word coming out, big word coming out. So this one, this one's a little different when you mash them together because I'm putting one word totally inside another word. So we're gonna have to go um, top and top and bottom. So we have opinionated and pigeon. And we mash them together and we get opinionated. See that? See what I did? Yeah, that's a. Uh, this word, you can use it to describe when people have, like, a really strong opinion on pigeons. Love them or hate them, these people are opinionated. Whew, this is moving faster than I thought, but of course when I edit this, it's gonna be like 42 minutes. It gets me every time where I think something's happening really quick, and then the video ends up being way longer than I expect. Okay, so next word, next word. What do we got? What do we got? We got, okay. Pizza. Acquisition. Pizza acquisition! I saw that wrong. BAM! Pizza acquisition! There we go! A great portmanteau to describe your quest to go out and get yourself some tasty, delicious pizza. Pizza acquisition. Whew. Comes a tongue twister. Alright, and I think for uh, part one of this multi part portmanteau series, we got one more word left in my randomly shuffled list of words and this one is about fashion you wear a tie you wear two ties it's now a multi see that multi multi Mul you i know you're sitting there thinking i'm just bullshitting right here but but when's the last time you watched back to the future part two Probably been a while, so here's what you do. You go, you, you hike your ass down to the local Blockbuster and grab the VHS copy of Back to the Future 2 and you bring that home and you plug it into your VHS and you watch it. And there's a scene where Marty McFly in the future comes walking in after work and what is he wearing? Two ties, AKA multi. You thought I lied to you, but it's actually a thing. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna shut the list down right now because I don't want to talk for 20 minutes about words So yeah, that's it if you want to If you really want me to do the other half of this Let me know down in the comments and if you really want to give me some money go to clickroach.com and buy yourself one of my prints till then should have prepped a great portmanteau for right here, but I didn't.